This little booklet was created as a response to a challenge that we are doing in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you will come over to Facebook and join us. And the link to the Facebook group is in the description below. So check down there, hop over, join us. And I hope you ha will have as much fun with this challenge as I do. It can be very rewarding when you figure out what you're going to do. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. My whole game here on YouTube is to try to deliver content to you that is informative and concise in less than 15 minutes. So for this weekly challenge, we are doing three spins of the wheel. Each spin produces a mixed media item that you use to create anything of your choice. Now, don't get too caught up in something if you don't have it, substitute or leave it out. The whole purpose of this is to have fun, not to create stress. So I hope you will join us for the spin and create whatever your heart desires. Let me turn it over to Cindy to produce that weekly spin. It's time for week four's Will of Wonder. Spinning for the first item. Fabric, spinning for the second item. Lace, spinning for the third item. Collage. I can't wait to see what everybody makes with those three items. It was fabric, lace, and collage. We have three things we need to use in this project. Lace, fabric, and collage. I am starting with the box that my K-Cups come in, and I am utilizing all of the pieces of they're not really pieces of scrap, but I was doing a lot of leaf printing on my gel press, transferring the leaves to paper, and I am going to use all those leftover sheets and am collaging them to this 5 inch by 7 inch piece that I cut out of that copy box. I also have a piece of white fabric and a piece of white lace that I will be using. So now that I have this pretty much covered, with collage, I'm going to allow that to dry. The Mod Podge that I'm using, or the glue and water mixture that I'm using, I make myself. I put the recipe link up above. You will also be able to find it in the description or on a playlist in my channel called Supplies. Once dried, I will trim it around the outside edges just to kind of neaten it up. And once trim, we will kind of make a decision on what we want to do with it. So I'm just getting all of those little checking to make sure everything's glued down. And I think it would look nice to add a little metallic gold. So I'm going to dry brush around the outside edges with this metallic gold paint. And just kind of lightly dry brush over the whole top to give it a little, a little, you know, pizzazz with that metallic gold. Now I have cut it into half. So I had that five by seven inch piece. I cut it into half and now I'm going to bind it with a piece of black um, duct tape. And I just tape the two together, put them on my uh, workbench here, just slightly apart, held my tape in a U above it, touched it down and we have it secure now. So I think I will further bind that outside edge with some fabric. So I'm just kind of seeing what that looks like. I do wind up cutting a, a better piece a little bit later, but I'm just trying to get a feel for what we're going to do here. So that folds nicely into a little book. So let's ink around the outside edge to kind of cover that cardboard that's sticking out. And I'm just taking my stays on black and going around the outside edge to cover the the brown of the cardboard and once again I will dry brush that gold around the edges and I will be 
putting additional collage on the inside of this or additional paper on the inside. So I just want to cover the corners with that gold. So if anything peeks out, it's a nice little uh, gold that we see. So I'm cutting the papers now, more of the leftover leaf prints onto a size that will fit neatly into the inside front and inside back of this little book that we are creating. And there we go. So let's glue those down. Yeah, I like that one a little better. So let's glue those down. Round off those corners with the crocodile, and I'm using a half inch corner on this, or the half inch corner cut. And I'm gluing that down with my glitter glue. Just making sure I have that to the outside edges so we have nothing that peels up. And we'll do the same for the inside front and the inside back. And there. So that makes a nice little size booklet. And we have the leaves on the front and the leaves on the inside front covering the inside back. And I've decided to go ahead and, and cut the corners on the cardboard as well. So I'm just trimming those. Let's glue some of the fabric to the front. We have it as our binding, but let's also put some on front. So I'm just gluing a little rectangle of white on the front, and I am taking the lace and creating a pocket on the inside with it. So I'm going to cut this to size and glue it on three sides. I want the edge of this lace to stick out slightly so you can see it when the book is closed. So we will do that on the inside front and on the inside back. Just cutting it to the actual size, going around three edges with the glitter glue, securing it down, and allowing it to dry. Now on the front, I'm going to cut a little piece of this lace as well, and I have some threads that I pulled off of that fabric when I was shredding that fabric. I'm going to shred the outside edge of that lace, and I will glue these threads down on top of the white fabric and then I'm going to nestle that little scrap of lace inside those threads and that will create just a little focal point on the front of the book and there it is now down let's let that dry And now we'll bind the back with a piece of that white fabric as well. So let's just cover up that spine with some additional white fabric. Just getting that down on two sides and covering that. But before we do that, I need to put the booklet in. I have some graph paper that I just cut to size and I'm marking the center of that and I will use my pokey tool or my craft pick and just poke through that uh, duct tape that we have this bound with. I'm going to hold that into place and thread my needle and I'm using black embroidery thread and I will go through that hole where I have my craft pick. So I'm going to go through that from the inside to the back. And now I am punching a hole and I have that graph paper. So I'm, I'm counting the little squares of the graph to determine where I'm going to punch that next hole. And I'm coming from the outside in. I will go back down through the center. and come back in on the outside at the opposite end. And I'm just punching the hole through. I'm not using a hole punch. I'm just using that craft pick or the needle. 
And now I'm going to tie that into a square knot and that will bind in these, this little um, booklet of graph paper. So now let's determine what we're going to cover that spine with. And I think that um, I had not cut a long enough piece or a straight enough piece or a good enough piece to do that. So I'm going to cut one more and glue that down. And that's just the white fabric. So there's our fabric. We have our lace as well. So we just about have this complete. We have the lace, we have the fabric, we have the collage on the front, and I have decided to add a bit more lace on the front cover. So I'm just cutting an additional piece and we shall glue that down and decorate that uh, spine a little bit more. So there, I think that look is looking much better. We'll do that on the front and the back. Just a thin bead of glue, a little bit more lace. And that pretty well completes it, but I do think we need something to keep it closed. It's kind of popping open when I lay it down. So let's grab some of that uh, additional white fabric. I thought about putting lace around it or adding more lace to tie it together and I think that's too much. I thought through embroidery thread. I think that's too much. So I have decided to use either sari silk, but I have this old white shirt that I've been using for the fabric. So I think I'm just gonna take a strip of that and tie that together, trim it up, and call it finished. And there you go, the project completed. So we have the booklet, the spin of the wheel, ask us to utilize collage, which we collage the cover, fabric, which we used the white fabric as a little focal point on the front, and we also used it um, to cover the spine, and lace, which we have lace as two inside pockets. We also have lace on the focal point and lace on the spine. So I hope you enjoyed. Hop on over to Facebook and join the Facebook group, Tool Crows Mix Media. That will be linked in the description. I've also linked a couple of other videos that I think you will enjoy. And I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And all the likes, the shares, and the comments genuinely help me, and I appreciate them very much. Thanks so much. Bye for now.